My name is Alex Hurd, and I'm a mechanical engineer. Hard goods are what I've spent most of my professional career designing, just like tools, hand tools. As just like a, a nerdy kid, just like wanted to know how things worked, I started just wanting to know how does an engine work in a car. And then eventually I realized that I want to create something new, and then I want to see it succeed in the world and know that what I had done and what I had imagined is actually helping people, and uh, I get to do that. It's why I am doing what I'm doing. I'm a bit of an outdoorsman. Growing up was like getting outside and going backpacking, and then that eventually turned into climbing, which got me interested in CMC in the first place, was actually being an outdoor climber. And then kind of in the middle around there, I started hunting. My most rewarding hunting that I do, and I look forward to the most, is actually archery season during the deer season. It's a lot of fun. I'm most proud of the work I did on the Capto. I spent my first four years here pretty much dedicated to the Capto, making sure that it was as good as we could possibly make it. The hardest part was the most interesting part, and that was dialing in the slipping performance of the cam for both different rope sizes. Rope just kind of does weird things, and there's so many different types of rope, and there's old rope, new rope, clean rope, dirty rope different types of dirty rope. Washed rope can act differently than new rope. That was a lot of work, a lot of revising and testing and testing and testing and revising. That kind of revision process is what makes good products. And it's really hard to do, but in the end, if you keep going, you get these really cool products. And that's really fun. The risk that our users take is so high. We have to be 100% certain that what we do and what we develop and what we manufacture is gonna be perfect as much as we possibly can. And that is a lot of stress. I didn't fully appreciate it at first when I first started here, but then when I started to put my own life on the line hanging from rope, and hanging friends from rope and doing rope rescue maneuvers. I have a whole new appreciation for what search and rescue people do, what rope access people do professionally. Like it, it's mind boggling. Developing really good products is hard. Um, and we care a lot about it.